We now welcome in the Milwaukee Bucks, Pat Connaughton, who is playing in his eighth season uh, and joining us now on NBA Cross Court. And Pat, this is your fifth season with the Bucks, and each year you guys have finished first in the division. I mean, how has this team remained so consistent in a competitive NBA? Well, I mean, look, when I showed up five years ago, they hadn't finished first in the division in a while, so. So you're, so, so what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, honestly, it's just, we got a great group of guys. We got a great coaching staff. We got a great organization. You know, it kind of starts from the top. Our ownership has invested back into the city of Milwaukee and have made sure that winning is a priority. Our general manager, John Horace, has done a great job constructing a group of guys that not just have, you know, talent and skill, but uh, the character of the guys. They want to win. They're selfless. Uh, and then the coaching staff's done a great job of putting us in positions to be our best self. So it's been a pleasure over the last five years. It's been a lot of fun. And I think that, you know, often gets overlooked in the NBA. Like having fun will do a lot of wonders for a team. Absolutely. Um, now that you mentioned it, over the last five years does kind of line up with all of Giannis' success. So you really may be his, you know, Look, good luck. His first MVP was five years ago. There's been a lot of great things that have happened to Giannis Antetokounmpo since I got to Milwaukee. And we're just spitting facts. That's just yeah, like trying to inform the people of. And look, know. I love I love Drew Holiday, so I'd love to throw Drew in there as well. But technically, he wasn't here the first few years, so. Technically, I mean Chris <laughs> was, but you know. Yes. That, yeah, that, yeah. But he was there before too. He was there before too. Yeah. Right. See, this is just simple math. Simple math. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you did mention, you know having fun with each other and i think Giannis is uh, a, a guy who loves to have fun uh why did the movie director got kicked out of the bar don't know because she made a scene <laughs> but as someone who plays alongside him for the last five years is there anything that still surprises you about him um you know not really aside from just like how humble he is as a person right like he truly measures himself against himself like he wants to be the best version of himself that he can be and on a daily basis he looks at himself by his strengths he looks at himself and how he improves his weaknesses and he takes a really great approach in my opinion he's got a great mindset towards it and i think that's something that superstars in this league they're all great they're all talented but you know that humbleness and that approach that he takes where he's really not trying to compare himself to anybody he's just trying to be the best version of Giannis that he can be um i think is quite unique yeah. Um, and Pat, you're, you're certainly unique. You have multiple layers. Um, people <laughs> dive into you. You're, you're a businessman. You're into real estate. You you have mad hops when it comes yeah. to the game. Like you got you got a lot going, um, including, uh, you know, a game where you smelled like you went to the bar. Um, can you tell <laughs> the backstory of the smelled like tequila all game versus the heat? I smell like tequila all game. I probably still feel it smell like tequila. My shirt, jersey does for sure. And the irony behind it is, you know, I don't drink. So the tequila that got spilt on me, you know, wasn't great from a smelling standpoint, but it probably uh, wasn't great from a consumption standpoint either. Um, you know, I got fouled on a three. I fell back into the feet of uh, some of the fans that were sitting courtside. One of them was holding a drink and my momentum took me into his feet and he spilt it on top of me. And really the smell, I could have done with a little bit of anything except for the fact that I get in my eye. It burns, you know, quite frankly, it burns. It doesn't feel great in your eye. So I had to shoot three free throws after that. I luckily made the first one. Jimmy Butler told me, you don't have tequila in your eye. You're lying to everybody. And then I missed the second one. He goes, oh, all right, maybe you do. And then I missed the third one. He goes, yeah, you know, you definitely do. I believe you yeah. now. Uh, and so I told him I wasn't trying to make him believe him. I was actually trying to make the, the three free throws. But uh, it's a new one for me. You know, I've unfortunately been hit in the face quite a few times, had some bloodshed come from just underneath my eye, above my eye, all different you know spots along my face. And I've never had an alcoholic beverage thrown in my face, which to be fair to the fan, it wasn't thrown in my face. It was an accident. It just, it got there. Whew, and tequila is potent. I mean, it, when I, whenever I smell tequila, it just gives me flashbacks to college. And, you know, we don't want to remember those days. <laughs> yeah. In college, to be fair, in college, I'm sure there's a lot of students that get tequila on their shirt. I just don't think they have to play a basketball game. With no, no. Well, that was uh, iconic. Thank you so much for joining us on NBA Cross Court. No problem. Thanks for having me, Cass.